hey guys welcome to the channel today we are going to learn how to solve a set of simultaneous linear equation of three variables in a very quick and easy manner so here I am having the set of three equation and which are having three variables so let's see how we are going to do that as you can see I have written the steps one two three so the number one step is matrix form number two is getting two zeros in the column and number three is solving equations. So let's get started. How are we going to do this? Step number one. Step number one is simply writing the entire equation in form of a matrix. So let's do it. I'll be writing the coefficients of these and the constant. One, minus two, three, seven. Two, one, one, four. Minus three, two, minus two, minus ten okay so now step one is completed we can make a barrier in this because these are the variables and these are the constants so let's get to the step number two the step number two says that we need to get two zeros in a column so we will be what we are going to do is to select any of the columns which can easily give zeros and generating two zeros in that column it's simple to say that we will be looking at those among these three columns not this one because these are the constants we will be interested only in these three so among these three columns we will be looking in a way to create any at least two zeros in any of them so let's see how we can do it so the easiest way to generate a zero is to look for the similar kind of values or the multiple values for example in this we don't have any similar kind of numbers and this we do have similar kind of elements minus 2 and 2 so if I add this row to this row I'll be getting a 0 over here and that's what I want I want to create zeros in this column I have selected this column to be the one so let's do it what I'm going to do is my row 3 okay this is row 1 this is row 2 this is row 3 this is how I'll be denoting so let's do it uh, row 3 is going to be row 3 plus row 1 that means the elements of row 3 will be added with the elements of row 1 so let's do it this is going to be all same no change in that because we are not touching them now comes the row 3 which is going to get changed minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 2 plus minus 2 is 0 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 minus 10 plus 7 is minus 3 fair remember guys we also need to ca calculate over them also don't forget about these okay so I have got one zero I need at least two so I need one more zero in this column so what I can do uh, I'll look for any multiple or so I do have a multiple over here that because if I multiply this row 2 with 2 and then add these two then I'm I will be getting another zero over here right guys so let's do it row 2 is going to be 2 multiplied by row 2 that means first row is going to remain the same I'm not touching it row 2 is going to be multiplied with 2 so it's getting 4 2 2 and 8 this is going to be the same I have not touched it yet all right no this is not any step number 3 this is just a step number 2 going on this is this could be step a this could be step b let's move on to the step c in which i'll be uh, as we can see we can add these two rows to get a zero so what i'll be doing r2 is going to be r2 plus r1 that means our first row is going to remain the same our row number two is going to add up with the elements of row number one so it would be five zero five and the fifteen minus two zero one minus three fair enough 
as we can see we got two zeros so our step number two is confirmed so let's move on to the step number three this step number three says we need to solve the equation but what equation we are talking about when we are getting two zeros in any of uh, the two rows we will be selecting those two rows as our new equations and we can write these equations as 5x because 5 is at the first column which represents x 0y would not be required to write and then 5z oh it's look like a 6 okay now somehow it's looking 5 and then it's equal to 15 i'm i hope you are getting this thing then again minus 2x plus 1z is going to negative of 3. now you can simply solve this by our old technique i'll be multiplying this with 5 it would give me 10x plus 5x 5z minus 15 and uh, i'll be adding these two questions I'll be subtracting these two so if I subtract them I'll be getting 15x and uh, this is going to be 0 this is going to get cancelled and here I'm getting 30 because 15 minus of minus 15 is 30 so x is equal to 2 this implies uh, if I take this one 2 into minus 2 into 2 and plus z is equal to minus 3 this implies z is nothing else but 1 and this implies if I take any take any of these equations let's take this one so if I use it 2 x we have got the value of x is 2 then y we need to find out x z is equal to 1 then 4 if I solve them then y is equal to minus 1 so we got the value of y as minus 1. So that's how we can do it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any queries or any comment, please put them in the comment section. Also tell if you need help in another topic so I can upload it according to your choice. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share it. Thank you guys. Take care.